The last two times we discussed the original languages of Russia that belong to the Turkic language family. Tatar, Chuvash, Bashkir, etc, etc. However, even though the last two videos covered a fairly large number of languages, these are not all the Turkic languages that many peoples of Russia use. Like, if we wanted to cover all of them, it would take us months to do so. That's why today we're making a switch. We're speaking about the Uralic languages that are spoken in the vast land of Russia. A small language spoken in Volga Federal District's Republic of Mariel. Other distribution areas include the republics of Tatarstan, Bashkiria, Chuvashia, as well as Permsky Krai and the oblasts of Sverdlovsk and Kirov. Duh, they're all close. As well as many, many others. An interesting fact, even though the Mari language is only spoken by 385,000 people, it has two distinct literary styles hell and meadow Marie languages. They're quite different, so if two speakers met each other, they would most likely speak Russian for basic understanding. Marie is an agglutinative language with a complex noun inflection system with a lack of a grammatical gender and prepositions. However, there is one interesting feature that distincts Marie from other Finno-Urgic languages, and that is the vowel harmony. You see, due to a century-long influence of the Turkic languages, Marie adapted this small element into its phonetic system. Like with many other original languages of Russia, it uses a Cyrillic script for writing. However, unlike with the Turkic languages we discussed previously, even though the Mari language has its own Latin script-based alphabet developed in the early 20th century, it was never used. There is also another type of writing that existed from the ancient times up until the early 1930s. The Mari people would also use a special Tamga character called Tishte for describing certain qualities or features of objects. However, as of the 21st century, the system has ceased to exist. Also, I am personally a 12% ethnic Marie, with my great-grandfather being a Marie national spending his entire life in what is now the Republic of Marielle. However, neither me nor any of my family speak the language, as it has been on decline for many years now, with barely anything to nothing to be done to change it. Another language spoken in the Volga Federal District of Russia. Wait, hold on. Did I say language? Nah. Just like Marie, the Mordvin language is also divided into two separate literary norms, sometimes referred to as two separate languages. Moksha and Erzurum. From now on, I'm gonna be referring to them as two separate languages, because that is what they're mentioned in the Constitution of the Republic of Mordovia. Interestingly enough, even though the, these two languages make the larger Mordvin language subgroup, they're not mutually intelligible due to differences in grammar and phonology. Aside from Mordovia, they're also spoken in many other oblasts and republics of the Russian Federation. The total number of speakers is now a little bit under a half a million of people, however, it is now currently on decline, just like with many other regional languages of the Russian Federation. The reason is still the same, because Russian is a very large and a global language, there is a lot more reason for people to learn and use it in their day-to-day -day life. Also, much like Marie, the Mordvin languages are agglutinative languages with a complex non-inflection system with 12 grammatical cases, which, to be honest, sounds dreadful to any Indo-European speaker. Also, like all other Finno-Ugric languages, it lacks grammatical gender and prepositions. The vowel harmony is also present in both languages. As for the graphics, duh, both use the Cyrillic base alphabets. Both alphabets are extremely unstable, with the first one introduced as early as the year 1860. 67, with the last reform being held in 1993. A Latin-based alphabet was also created during the early years of the USSR during the Latinization campaign, however, it was never widely used, yada yada yada, you already know that. This is the last language we're going to cover in this video. Udmurt, like all the other languages mentioned in this video, is spoken in the Volga Federal District in, you name it, the Republic of Udmurtia. It is also spoken in neighboring federal subjects. It is now spoken by roughly 324,000 people, with the number of speakers constantly declining. According to UNESCO, if this tendency continues by the early 22nd century, this language will have become extinct. 
the Udmurt language sports a unique verb conjunction system that is absent in other Finno-Ugric languages. Another distinctive feature is a large number of loanwords from the Tatar and Russian languages due to historic reasons. In terms of phonetics, Udmurt lacks the distinction between long and short vowel sounds, as well as the vowel harmony. As for the graphic system, you can already know that. The language uses the Cyrillic based alphabet for writing, however, the Latin based alphabet was also created in the 1920s and later banned in the 1930s. So nobody really cares about it now. Of course, these are not all the Uralic languages spoken in Russia. There are way, way more. If you would like to know about this lingual diversity of Russia, stay tuned for the updates. And that's it for today, folks. Have a nice day and пока!